everyone. I'm your host, Heather Davies. This is your Independence Update. The Clarkson Independence District Library is holding a morning book discussion on February 4th from 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. The group will be discussing the classic A Room with a View by E.M. Forrester. The following Thursday, the group will be watching the movie of the book at 10 a.m. Contact Melissa Henry at 248-625-2212 or henrym at indelib.org. Is your child a middle school student who loves to write and is looking for a place to share their ideas? Have them join the Middle School Writing Group. This is a partnership with the Clarkson Area Optimist Club. Students will be able to share their writing, get feedback, improve their skills, learn from a variety of writers, and have fun. No registration is required. The group meets next on February 9th from 6 to 7 p.m. On Tuesday, February 9th, the Clarkston Area Chamber of Commerce is hosting a luncheon event at Sagano Japanese Bistro and Steakhouse. The lunch starts at 11.30 a.m. for time to network. This is a perfect way to learn how to network with a fun, interactive group and build relationships while building your business. On Wednesday, February 10th, the Clarkston Community Schools will be having a student count day. Please make sure your students are able to attend classes this day. That concludes our update for this week. If you have a story or information you'd like us to share on Independence Update, please contact us at 248-623-3661 or email us at update at independencetelevision.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Hello Clarkston. I'm Rod Rock, Superintendent of Schools. Welcome to Independence Update. As I speak, we're finishing up the first semester of the school year. Our students are engaged in exams and our teachers are reporting student learning to parents. I want to thank everybody for all of the time that they put in, for the communications, to our students for doing the very best they can in school each day, and for everybody who works so hard to make Clarkson an excellent school system. I'm looking very much forward to the second semester of the school year, the second half of the school year. A lot of things will happen, a lot of events, a lot of celebrations, a lot of uh, team activities, our uh, school play, the theater performance, many, many things for the community to come out and engage in, and I'm super excited about everything that will happen for the rest of the year. I wanted to uh, congratulate Mrs. Wendy Stewart and our uh, chamber orchestra from Clarkson High School on their performance last weekend at the Michigan Music Festival in Grand Rapids. It's the first time that our orchestra has qualified to perform at this level. It's, uh, it's the same as winning a state championship. It's that level of performance. It was outstanding for me to be able to be there and to see them and for all of the hard work that goes into that, all of the practices, the private lessons, all of the time that students spend and that staff spend making that happen. Congratulations to Mrs. Stewart and to everybody who's involved. I also want to congratulate again Pine Knob Elementary School. And last week they had a celebration at their school that included Mr. Gary Peters, who's a, re a, a representative from Washington, D.C., Mr. Jim Tedder, our local state representative, and many uh, school board members and our administrators in celebrating the amazing accomplishment of Pine Knob Elementary School winning a National Blue Ribbon Award of Excellence. I wanted to remind the community that we are in the process of, uh, co of collecting data from, from community members on their percep perceptions of school safety, on the facilities of our schools, and on the technology of our schools. We're really interested in your feedback in these areas. We've sent out a community survey in multiple formats. We hope you'll take the time to give us feedback. We'll also collect information from our students from our staff members into ter in terms of areas of need. We will collect these into a document that represents a collective needs list. We're working with our architects who are meeting with several community groups, our boosters and athletics and BAN and, uh, and other groups to determine exactly what we need. And then we'll have uh, share those data with our school board and we'll have continuing conversations about how we can meet these ongoing needs in the areas of safety, of our facilities and technology. So please take the time to offer us feedback. We appreciate it very, very much. 
I want to thank everyone uh, for all the work that you do to make Clarkston such a great school district and such a great community. Thank you for tuning in.